Hi guys, this is a little haul from Aldi. Actually quite a big one. I didn't bought everything they had this time though. So let's get right started. I bought the um, Wonder again. I bought that last year. I have also the Shimmer version and I have this version. They didn't. Ha they, they had the Shimmer version again in shops as well, but I didn't bought it this time because I still have it. And Shimmer version I don't use as much as this one. So there's like a multi-purpose oil for face, hair and body. And I actually quite like I think it's like a copy of the um, NUX oil. Then I got a makeup sponge. Um... I didn't have a um, Lacro makeup sponge for a while. They also had like a dark pink version, um, but I only got this one version because I just got some makeup sponges from Lidl and I thought I don't need any more. And oh, okay, I can't open this one, but it looks like a normal makeup sponge basically. Then I got some more of their silk scrunchies. They had lots of different colors um, to like mimic your hair color. So like that, like a light blonde, middle blonde, and then like for dark brown hair. Um, I don't really have dark brown hair, but I like this color, so I got it. Then I got the lip oil. They had three versions of this one. I was I'm very proud of myself because I really like this lip oil, but I only got um, the pink version. They also had, again, um, the dark cherry color, which I still have, as you can see, and use. Um, and they also had the clear version again, which I also have somewhere in one of my handbags. So really happy about that. Then they had also again the Luminous Filter Foundation. I, I still have that and I quite like it, so I got it again. And I got the shade 1 and shade 2 this time. I think the other one I still have is shade 1. Um, they also had, and why I opened this one, because I didn't bought it again, they also had the quartz again, which are like a copy of the Charlotte Tilbury quartz, which is like one like a rose, rosy one and one like a goldy one. I literally, I think they glued it again in the packaging. They did that last time. Sorry. Yeah, see? They sometimes glue it on the bottom of the packaging so people can't take it easily out of boxes, which I uh, don't mind actually, because you shouldn't really swatch these because there is no swatcher in a supermarket. Let's unpack this one as well. Probably not literally open. So there we go. This one is like a interesting one because it's like a massive dofit applicator. So that's shade. That's shade two. I think yeah that's shade two it doesn't say can i just say though it doesn't say anyway so you have to basically guess or oh, is this shade one oh, yeah this shade two this shade one but it doesn't say on the packaging itself i never actually realized that because sometimes they have like little stickers there we go I quite like those. They're very um, luminous ones. I think they're meant to be also like the Charlotte Tilbury copy of like luminous, flawless luminous filter or something like that. Um, but yeah, then, yeah, so they had these Charlotte Tilbury um, quartz again, which I didn't bought. I still have them actually too. I, I should get them out, but I was too lazy. And then they also had again the lip oil, the collagen lip oil, which is also like a Charlotte Tilbury copy, which I really like, but I have that already and I have a backup, so I didn't bought it again. Then, this one is new to me, um, they, bought, uh, they brought out two face shimmers, um, hydrating facial mist. Um, one was like a champagne color and the other one is a bronze color. So let's try to get this out. Look at this. There are quite a few brands who brought it out in the last few years, so I'm not sure which one that's meant to be. So, but there you go, it looks very shimmery. And then the bronze. this glue down on the packaging to not get it out of boxes it's really annoying at least you can pull it off but yeah it's a bit annoying now let me how do i i don't want to want to spray it lightly so let's spray it on the back of my hand oh yeah it has quite a bronze to it if it's not good for my face what i might do is um i use it for the body it does smell nice by the way and this one I spray, oh, I shouldn't maybe spray next to the bronze. Yeah, this is hardly visible, which is good though, because I don't want like full on stuff. But they smell really nice. And now, last thing, I got an Aldi today. They had um, two facial sprays, one cucumber, one rose water. They look a bit like the Mari Badescu ones, to be honest. Um, I didn't even saw them advertised. There are a few products which I could not find in the shop because they were meant to be having gradual self-tanning um, body butter and self-tanning sprays, like an evening and a day one. And I could not find them at all. And I went to two different Aldi's, so I don't know where that is, which is a bit of a shame because 
I, I was actually really looking forward to them, but I got these two instead. So, well, there we go. 120 mil. Everything, of course, again, reasonably priced from Aldi, as always, which I quite like. And, yeah, let me know in the comments. I, I know Aldi is a bit of a hit and miss. The problem is also... Um, they don't really do delivery anymore, which they did in the past, which was quite nice, because you could actually order a lot online and then have it. They don't do that at all anymore. They only do now stuff in the shops. But there we go. That's my haul for today. See you next time. Bye.